Today I'd like to introduce you to the first practical semi-automatic shotgun, the Remington Model 11. It was produced. This particular one has patent dates that go back to 1900 on the barrel, but based on the serial number, it was produce, produced right around 1917. It later became the Browning A5. It was produced in 16 gauge, 20, and 12 gauge. I actually used this particular shotgun when I was on my college's trap and skeet team. I've personally put around 500 rounds through it and haven't had any problems. I was looking for a new shotgun and I decided that this was definitely a good way to go as far as a time tested system and, and in the fact that it is probably the best selling shotgun ever produced. More commonly known uh, as the A5 though is where most of the sales were definitely seen in the later end of its production run. Its safety and operation are very simple. Simply pull back the bolt to chamber around, to chamber the first round, close it, and your safety mechanism right by the trigger. To disengage the safety, push it forward and pull the trigger. Now to load more rounds in, you'd simply push this button right here, up, and load rounds into the tube. Now, I have had some feeding issues on the last round. If I put more than three rounds in, this tube can take four. But if I try to put more than two into the tube, I begin to experience problems. So that's something to be wary of uh, when looking at one of these is make sure it feeds properly. Uh, this is something I'm probably going to have taken care of pretty shortly, especially when I get to re it or maybe even having it professionally redone because I am pretty fond of this shotgun and very fond of this system itself so I don't see myself getting rid of it anytime soon and highly recommend these shotguns if you can find one at a good price they're usually not too expensive they're very readily available and uh, either way you go Remington or Browning you're gonna be very happy these shotguns were also used by the US military you will find some floating around with military proof markings on them this particular one does not have that these were also used by law enforcement uh, in the 20s and 30s and perhaps earlier. This gun was popularized when Bonnie and Clyde went on their tour across America and was very popular with gangsters who would often take the barrel and cut it down. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I also would love if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'll have more reviews coming soon and shooting videos of my weapons collection and some friends' weapons collections coming soon as well.